My name is Kathy Leninger, and I have a business called Sled Dog Adventures, and I give sled dog rides, tours, extended expeditions overnights. I have a mushing school, anything to do with sled dogs. I have over 20 dogs, and I probably have about eight sleds. And what I do is I, I can take out two people at a time if they want to go for a ride. We do everything from half hour rides to hour, um, two, three hour. Um, I have overnight trips where I teach people how to drive their own dog team. And then we'll go off on a camping trip. We might go 20 miles and set up camp. This is Ace and he's five years old. He's one of my bigger dogs. He and his brother are about 65 pounds which is large, but he's incredibly strong and he can pull a heavy load. I put him in the wheel, uh, which is the position right in front of the sled. I'm always carrying weight. And those dogs, the wheel dogs have the brunt of the weight. He's Alaskan Husky. They're northern breeds with different kinds of dogs right in for speed. Um, a lot of them have hound in them. He has hound somewhere in his background. Uh, and, but for the most part, he doesn't have a thick coat. He, a really thick coat. He's not big and bulky. This dog can do, he can run 12 mile, 10, 12 miles an hour. He can trot that. And he can do it all day. He can do 100 miles a day, you know, when he's trained to do that. They eat high quality dog food, uh, but I like to get a lot of meat in there too. So I will buy things like ground up chicken. Um, I actually fished for 26 years for salmon for them. Um, when People have horses that die, they give them to me, I cut them up. Anything. <laughs> Once I get them lined up, um, then I have a break, I have a hook, we take off, and I have my voice uh, to, to tell us where to go. It's all voice commands. Uh, the way I deal with my dogs is that I'm, I'm the top dog. I don't ask them to do something, I tell them. I, I, I don't beat them, but I'm very firm with them but I also give them a lot of love too. In 1980, I was in the Wrangell Mountains and I was driving, I was in a, staying at a remote cabin with a friend. Uh, it was 52 below out, I took, the, I took a team out, I took our team out and I was going across a small lake that I had always gone across. All of a sudden, my dogs were in the water swimming and then I went in. And it happened so quickly, I was shocked. And I remember thinking how warm the water felt as compared to 52 below Fahrenheit. <clears throat> so fortunately, the dogs were able to crawl up onto the ice. I don't know if it was a warm spring. I don't know what, why we went through, but I grabbed the bottom of the sled and they pulled me out. I was wearing a heavy sheepskin uh, parka, bunny boots, I doubt if I could have gotten out on my own. So I'm here because my dogs pulled me out. <laughs> it's a great relationship. We, you know, we rely on each other.